Yep, that's me, Link. And you're probably wondering how I got into this situation. It all started in Hayes Snow Village when I met this woman for the first time. Oh, hi, ma'am. Let me get the door for you. Did, did she just not say thank you? Needless to say, I was a little upset. I knew I had to take her down, which totally backfired. And here we are now with my faithful steed, Humblehoof, bleeding out on the floor. Luckily, she's the toughest horse in the world, so I know she'll be back on her feet in no time. Well, that wasn't a good move, was it? <laughs> no! Humblehoof! Oh my god, I killed my baby! Oh no, now I'm gonna... Ah! I'm gonna have to visit the freaking horse doctor ghost and he's gonna yell at me! This is all your fault. What did I do? Magda? Magda more like... Ooh, sick burn me. <laughs> wow, she's still got it. Three years in the making. <laughs> I've been saving that one since I was born. A little bit of murder never hurt anyone. Right, Sabrina? See, she's giving me false hope. She keeps coming back alive. It's Sabrina's fault. Just keep saying those silly words, Link. I'm gonna fucking snipe. Ah, oh, Sabrina, what have you got here today? Well, other barrel lord, it's a sniper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill him! Sabrina, no, you can't do that! You're a barrel lord now! I'm gonna kill him! Everyone get on top of her! Stop her! No, don't hold me back! Get off me! She's out of control! Sedate her! Someone sedate her! This is why I told you only to recruit barrels that don't have baggage! Yeah! My Sabrina is just the sweetest! I hope she never changes! I'm ready to take my punishment! FBI, open up! Yeah! It's you again. Why have you sought me out? Surely no ill has befallen your beloved faithful steeds. Let me see. Oh, no. Nay, a horse, loyal and true, has fallen during your adventures. And it was nothing to do with me. Or this sword that's covered in her blood. Huh. <laughs> I could end you right here now. I just, of course. Shall I bring your companion back to travel you once more? Yes, please. Oh, humble hoof. You fucking bitch. <laughs> so, you would like to revive this horse? I can do that, of course. But what is this? This horse says that you killed it. Oh, no. You, how could you? You snitch. You know what they say, humble hoof? Stitches get stitches. If I had stitches, Link, I wouldn't have died. Well, we can all agree hindsight is a beautiful thing. I hate you. A horse is only a tool to you? Do you treat their noble lives so casually that you'd use them and throw them away? I've never used Humble Hoof as a tool. Apart from one time. Look, I know you weren't happy when I got you this new outfit just because it makes you into a back scratcher. But how great is this? Oh, that's the spot. This is just humiliating. Humble Hoof, come on. Stop complaining. Now, please go a little lower. Oh, I'll show you just how low I can go. Um, Humble Hoof, <laughs> you're getting a little bit too low there, bud. Revenge will be mine. What are you? <laughs> My ass has never been the same. Oh, baby, I'm back. So, how's it going? I'm eating to gather the strength to kill you. Oh, you're not thinking about taking revenge. Yes, yes, I am. Come on. Let bygones be bygones. Give me a smooch. Huzzah! <gasps> Why are they both outside? Why is Beef Daddy about to throw hands? Beef Daddy, what's happening? Someone snuck in and stole Lady Papaya's most prized possession. <gasps> Whoever did this, they're gonna fucking pay. <laughs> oh no! Oh, she's so sad! Papaya, what's happened? Link! My hair is flying! <laughs> it's been possessed! It's like her hair No, she's upset and it's trying to pat her back for her. <laughs> it's like, there, there. There, there. The heirloom has been stolen! I swear I only took my eyes off it for a second! Ah, I guess you didn't have your eye on the ball, huh? <laughs> Someone must have stolen it during the deepest hour of the night. And no one from the village would do such a thing. I mean, I don't know. Have you seen the guy that runs on the carrots? Honestly, first sign of a psychopath. And have you seen those two kids? Their mother's dead, apparently. But who killed her? <gasps> you don't think? I knew it. <laughs> I always suspected those little heathens. I'm glad grandmother is safe, but I still feel so... Violated. <laughs> I bet she is the type of girl to actually cry over spilt milk. She does. It happened five times this week. Well, how else am I meant to get my calcium? Fucking millennials. But who could have stolen the heirloom? There were some people visiting the manor, but they were all known villagers. I don't remember seeing anyone suspicious. Oh my god, it's Sherlock Link. Who came by? The only people that came by yesterday were Lastly from the clothing shop and Grandma Melly from the plum garden. I didn't see anyone else. There she is. The stealer, Melly. <laughs> I'm no detective, but her slightly pissing herself then and making that noise is not a good sign. I'm ready to take this old bin to jail. 
And she's going in with the cuckoos. Where's the heirloom? I'm 008, and I have a license to kill. No, you don't. You caught me. Orange handed. What? Yes, I'm a big fan of carrots, but my old man hates them. So sometimes I sneak out at night to get my fill. Are you telling me you sneak out at night to eat carrots? Yes. I never thought I'd find someone else with my hobby. This is such a beautiful moment. You know what? You are free to go. What a sweet old lady. I'm so glad he didn't find out about my prostitution ring. Nobody knows. Wait a minute. That's coming from inside the tree. The tree did it. I knew it was you this whole time. Wait, it's not the tree. It's her. Is that Lazuli? What is she doing? I'm going in. Lazuli! I guess I can't keep this secret any longer. This is where the love of my life sleeps. What? He passed away a long time ago, but I come here every now and then to be with him. That is so sweet. Now where's the heirloom, bitch? Are you following me because you think I'm a suspect? I shouldn't give away my plan. Yeah, yeah, I am. How awful of you. How can I steal that when Beef Daddy and the others are guarding it all the time? There's no way I could do it without them noticing. God freaking damn. So who did this? Where's Beef Daddy? He said he was going to the area above the village, but he should be back by now. No! Beef Daddy wouldn't do it. He wouldn't. He's our Beef Daddy. If he stole it, I will never love a man again. <laughs> I will never love again. Oh, you fucking turd. <laughs> what is he doing? I know you're there. Show yourself. Oh, no! Beef Daddy! You don't have to shout. I'm right here. Okay, hold on a minute. I know Beef Daddy's packing some thickness, but have you seen those melon crushes? God damn! Oh my god, the battle of the daddies. Oh, hell yeah. So you're the one who stole the heirloom. <laughs> Such anger. Why would you steal it? Don't play dumb, Beef Daddy. Oh, he knows his name! You knew what you were getting yourself into when you decided to leave the organization. <gasps> oh! Dude, they won't even let me in. <laughs> that fucking sucks. You did well to tell us about the heirloom. What? Unfortunately, your usefulness has come to an end. As must you, but first. Oh, shit. <laughs> it appears we have an audience. I was trying to hide, but I couldn't hear you guys, so I just came out a bit. <laughs> Why did I hide? For my fallen master. Oh, um, um. Hello? Big Daddy! He walked towards me seductively and I'm a married man! Danger! Well, you don't say! <laughs> I'm just gonna hide behind your beautiful thighs of steel! He's walking around sinister- I- <laughs> Wait, what's happening? How did you miss? What is happening? Oh no, he's walking after me! I'm so scared! <laughs> this is awful! Seriously? If we let him go, there's no telling what he might do! Let's finish this! Yeah, there's no telling what he might do. I don't know. Maybe he'll fucking cuddle some puppies at this rate. Jesus Christ. Here he comes. Oh, no. What's he going to do to me? <laughs> what is he doing? Using it as a metal detector? What does this do? Come on, Jeremy. Remember your training. Sword go chop. That's it. It's go time. Bye. Oh, beautiful! Now this is how a real buccaneer fights! Hiya! What is this thing he's doing? I've never seen it before! It's called not missing! Try it sometime! How? That's it! I'm gonna hit him with a fish! Take that! Ah! Ah! I did it! I hit him! Oh, I can't wait to tell the guys about this at Badminton next week! Ah! I can't believe I was being followed! I am a member of the Yiga clan! <gasps> but then I met the most incredible woman who blessed me with two amazing children! Oh! And then she died. <laughs> and so I tried to change my ways. I tried to leave the clan. But the Yiga, they took my wife's life as a punishment. How? How did they kill her? Did you see that? How? Well, she was sleeping at the time. And after 45 attempts of standing over and trying to hit her, they finally did it. I couldn't let them hurt my children. So I used my position as gatekeeper to gather information for the Yiga. I told them about you and about the village in exchange for safety. What? I freaking trusted him with my recipes. You've told the Yiga clan members that, haven't you? Only about your strudel. My strudel? That's my favorite recipe. Betrayer. I know it's a selfish request, but do you think you could keep what really happened a secret? Listen here, Beef Daddy. I'll only forgive you if you do one thing for me. What is it? Name your price. Anything. Teach me the secret of the beef. No. 
Now that's the spirit. If you want to be a beef daddy, do that a million times. Oh, he's had a heart attack already. I've done it. Pyre. So that means the heirloom has finally fulfilled its purpose. I couldn't be happier. I hope she's not doing that creepy smile. Yep, there it is. I'm actually a lizard person. <laughs> Bet you didn't know that. You don't need to clean it anymore, Pyre. Maybe she does need to clean it. Look at all this fucking dust. She cleans it every day and this is how it gets. What are you cleaning it with? More dust? Oh my God. Oh yes. The pink Power Ranger is here, bitches. I look like I've had a deadly burn all over my body. <laughs> Oh, Zelda! Oh, we're running! Run! Zelda! <laughs> What's wrong? My application for Great British Bake Off, it wasn't accepted. What? I made a mistake. I sent in my batten bug instead of my banana bread. They said it was too dry! <laughs> and now we're both just sitting in the rain. We both have soggy bottoms. Not the time, Link! Mary Berry would have appreciated that. <gasps> God damn it. Still makes me laugh. <laughs> I come in peace, fellow disgusting creatures. You have nothing to fear from me. See? I've bought us meat. You may eat my horse. <gasps> Humblehoof! What are you doing? The revenge is happening! Humblehoof, these are our new friends! No, you double hoof! What are you doing? Damn it! You made me lose my friends! I knew that's what you truly wanted all along. Oh, duh! Now we're square. We'll never be square, Link. Not until I see you have the same fate as me. How? Are we gonna go on our adventures, Humble Hoof, if you're causing a ruckus? You know I won't like that. Oh, hi, guys. It's me. And Beef Daddy has taken me to horny jail. But I just can't stay mad at him. I just want to say thank you so much for watching my new adventure. And also thank you so much to my Patreons for your amazing support. Now, I'm gonna be back really soon with a brand new video. So I guess I better start digging my way out of here.